if you're like me, you're probably very happy that this video is finally here. <laughs> Since the announcement of the Red Komodo, uh, this has been one of the most frequently asked options for this camera and boy, we had to wait for a while to get it. Even though we had to wait for a while, I can say it's definitely worth it. The engineers from Red definitely listened and took this request very serious. We now have a dedicated time-lapse mode on the Red Komodo and it's glorious. Now, I'm not gonna take any more of your precious time, so let's just take a look at some uh, time-lapses that I shot today on this horrible gray and cloudy day. So sorry in advance <laughs> if these time-lapses don't blow your mind. Let's dive into setting up the time-lapse mode on Komodo. At this point in time, install the newly released beta software version 161. Check of course if there is in the future a newer software version. Now go back to the main menu and as you can see here we now can shoot under cranked frame rates as well as time-lapses. So to access the time-lapse function go into the menu project settings and scroll down to the recording modes. We can now choose between time-lapse and motion. Select time-lapse and now go back one menu. Select the time-lapse options and set your desired settings for shooting your time-lapse. You can now set a uh, limit uh, also if you want to, if you don't, um, the time-lapse of course will continue to record until you stop it or the battery dies. As you can see the record button, record button is now changed and has a clock animation, much like the one from Apple's time-lapse function on the iPhone for example. Only this one is much more clear and actually useful <laughs> as you can see now when a frame is recorded. Another interesting thing that I directly wanted to check out was the battery life. I was curious to see if shooting time-lapse is more battery efficient than normal recording. Uh, at the start, the battery indicator gave us the same runtime for both time-lapses and shooting normally. Uh, after shooting, it's safe to say that the time-lapse uh, is less battery, uh, battery hungry than normal recording. This is to be expected, but still good to know. Now, unlike my Canon EOS R's uh, internal time-lapse mode, the Komodo actually remembers the settings that I put in. So the interval, amount of frames per interval, and of course the limit of frames uh, is being uh, remembered. So that is great because it's always a pain to set up a camera time and time again if the standard settings are uh, what you go for. So the settings that you always use. Now, I am curious, why would you want to shoot uh, time-lapses on the Red Komodo and what kind of time-lapses would those be? Let me know in the comment section down below and if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel as well. It helps me grow and that allows me to make more content for all of you. So thank you for that in advance. Okay, this is a recording uh, after I did my initial talking headshots. Um, so something that I found out is that uh, in the middle of the recording of this talking head, my Komodo stopped recording for what I considered no reason. But, uh, what I found out is that I enabled the frame limit on the time-lapse mode. And it's my conclusion that the time limit also applies to the normal motion recording. So my recording stopped uh, in the middle of me talking remember that at least for this beta software uh, to not enable the frame limit or shut it down after you shot your time-lapse because this can of course cause problems which are <laughs> quite annoying. So I am happy that I found this out now and not on set 
just doing these talking headshots, but I thought it would be important for you to know, so take that in account of uh, as well. Let's continue with the video. Uh, we can change settings during the recording of a time lapse, so we can in camera also manipulate the exposure when the recording apart from and these and the lens. We can change white balance, so if you shoot time lapses uh, of a sunrise or a sunset, this could be useful. I am so happy with this enabled functionality. A 16-bit, 6K roll time lapse in camera that can bring uh, that the, it's a camera that I can bring almost everywhere is amazing. I have two Komodos and having the ability now to shoot the time lapse on a project without needing a dedicated camera is excellent. I shoot time lapses of my behind the scenes process all the time and now I can do it with the Komodo. Uh, one thing that I will hope to see in the future is a longer uh, our, our longer shutter speeds. In my ideal world, we can push this even to better numbers and when then in theory, we could do even time lapses at night. My advice, in order to run the Komodo for a longer period of time, um, like you need definitely a other battery solution, like a V-mount, uh, that's very useful. The longer It's a longer battery life and it's way quicker to charge when empty. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And again, consider subscribing and hope to see you in the next video. Later.